Have you ever listened to a speech, presentation, or sermon that was difficult to understand? Did you know that there must be a good message, but you're distracted by the rhythm or choppiness of the speech? I've been working with international professionals, including scientists, IT professionals, healthcare providers, and priests for over 15 years. I've coached them to deliver scientific presentations and sermons in a clear, concise, and engaging manner. However, some, in an attempt to speak clearly, focus so much on pronouncing every word, they become quite choppy, and it's more difficult to follow the message. Pausing is an effective strategy to gain the listener's attention and enhance the key points. It's also a gift to the listener. It helps them process the information. However, pausing must occur at the appropriate places to preserve the message and avoid the awkward breaks which disrupt the meaning. Pausing is also a gift to the speaker. It helps the speaker think clearly, and it also prevents the word fillers, such as, um, so, like, uh, you know. To maintain the meaning of our message, we need to keep words together in phrases. So you ask, where should you pause? I've developed some strategies to help you in this area. Number one, the most obvious, is observe punctuation. If you see a period or comma in a reading, pause there. Number two, keep the articles such as a, an, and the with the noun. For example, a study, an investigation, the results. Number three, keep prepositions with their phrases. And for example, you would say, in the room, of this world, at the conclusion. Number four, words that are connected with and and are pairs should remain together, such as brothers and sisters, family and friends, results and recommendations. And number five, which is an interesting rule, is keep the words together in a verb phrase. These are the words that are connected to the action. They can be one word or several, such as invite him, listening to others, giving the results. So you ask, how can you prepare for your speech using these strategies? First, write it out, and then you can decide where you can put these pauses. Mark them on your script so that you can practice it that way. Then record yourself and listen back. After you listen, make any adjustments so that you can relay your message in a coherent and engaging manner. And remember, just because you're writing out your script, you don't need to read it exactly or memorize it, but you're using this as a strategy. So take these suggestions, help yourself speak more fluently with appropriate pausing.